clients for this particular project came to me um, interested in a multi-generational house for themselves, their adult children, their grandchildren. Part of the evolution of this project was, and part of my business model here, was to provide really a, a, a custom home in a price point that typically you wouldn't find a custom home. It has been challenging to accommodate uh, everyone's styles and tastes. Overall, I think their desire to get the project to the finish line helped make these decisions and keep this on track. Sound is probably the biggest concern. To partition the grandparent space to include a vertical component so that their sleeping quarters are buffered above where they have their private offices uh, worked out well. Their sleeping quarters are separated by an entire floor from their grandchildren's sleeping quarters. The primary public space for the house is over the garage and again not connected in any way with the grandparents space. Um, we put uh, sound insulation in all the walls surrounding their envelope, a uh, hat channel in the ceiling separating their office, their daytime space, from the grandchildren's sleeping space. In terms of accessibility, again, uh, the grandfather of the family is a disabled American veteran with some uh, mobility challenges, some walking challenges. So the house has a handicap ramp, which is partially in anticipation of any, any increased uh, mobility conditions. Uh, there are grab bars throughout the house, in the bathrooms, uh, even on one wall to help uh, get up off of a sofa. The back deck and the front porch are constructed at the same elevation as the main living floor to eliminate a step outside of each door. The greatest challenge for this project, and I, I believe for many multi-generational homes, is parking. Uh, this, this house will have four adult drivers. There's no parking on the street in front of the house. And so this project hinged on solving that problem before it ever became viable. Uh, the solution was a four-car garage integral to the house and again below the, the family room. The challenge is the zoning regulations and maximum lot coverage. The second greatest challenge in, in multi-generational housing is financing. Uh, it's a unique product with tremendous benefits that motivate the, the clients, the buyers, to invest what can be above the neighborhood's price point. We are governed by a formulaic system mm -hmm. that hinges completely on a fair market appraisal. We were investing a lot in the product, putting together a product that had to appraise on the basis of similar like-kind product, which there really is none in the, in the area. Multi-generational housing will become a trend. Uh, what it affords not only to the occupants of the house, as I mentioned, just uh, the benefits to everyone, uh, to the community. When you look outside of the occupants of the house, by making a greater financial investment in the community, they also make a greater emotional and participatory investment. They volunteer in the community. They will partake in community politics if there's an issue that arises. It, it adds community safety, community value, as a trend that we hopefully will see more of.